Hello students. So our next uh, theory of discussion is self-care deficit nursing theory. So self-care deficit nursing theory, it was introduced by Dorothea Elizabeth Oram. So this theory is also known as Oram's theory of nursing. So Oram's general theory of nursing, it has three parts as a relation. So the three related parts of this theory are theory of self-care, theory of self-care deficit and theory of nursing system. So these three parts togetherly, it's known as Oram's general theory of nursing. So the first one, that is the theory of self-care. There are four basic concepts for this theory of self-care. So number one, it is self-care. Next is self-care agency. The third one, it is self-care requisite. And the fourth one, it is therapeutic self-care demand. Okay, so self-care Self-care agency, it is nothing but the hospitals and all. So the healthcare requisites, it means that when the individual needs some health care or when she is having or when an individual is having some health care deficit. So in order to compensate that, some requisites are there and that is known as self-care requisites. The last one is therapeutic self-care demand. So what is self-care? So self-care means it is the activity where the individual is initiating or where an individual is performing in order to maintain the life, health and well-being of that particular individual. Okay. So what is that self-care? Self-care means any performance of activities by uh, an individual where he or she is performing in order to maintain the life health and well-being of that particular individual that is known as self-care. So if you're seeing that elements of self-care, it includes that, that uh, we are preventing the illness from the life of an individual. We are meeting the social and the psychological needs of an individual. We are caring for the minor ailments and even for the long care. And next one, we are maintaining the health and well-being of an individual, maintaining the good physical and mental health and staying fit. So when an individual is performing all these activities, these are known as elements of self-care. So why these elements of self-care are there? In order to maintain the health and well-being of an individual. Okay. So the next concept, it is theory of self-care deficit. So Oram's theory, Oram's general theory of nursing, it is mainly focusing on the uh, self-care deficit. And self-care deficit means how the people are helped by the means of nursing. So if an individual is having self-care deficit, how the nurse is helping them in order to achieve the care or in order to give them the care. So the central focus of the Oram's general theory is self-care deficit. So if you're seeing this picture, so self-care agency and self-care demands so they are going in line by line and when there is a deficit, so there is a need of nursing agency. So self-care, self-care agency is required, self-care demand is there and when there is a deficit in between the self-care demand and self-care agency, there comes the uh, role of a nurse. So this is the conceptual framework. So next if you see theory of nursing system. So in this theory of nursing system, it is describing that how a patient's self-care need, it is met by the nurse. And this need, the need for the self-care of a patient, it cannot be met by the nurse alone. She or he needs the patient or both they will be working together so that the self-care needs can be met. So that is, uh, it is described, that is the nursing system, it is describing that how the patient self-care needs, it is met by the nurse, the patient or both of them, okay? So the nursing, uh, the self-care deficit, what is it self-care deficit? So when it is arriving, when it arrives, when there is a difference between what the individual can do in this life and what needs to be done to maintain the optimum functioning. So when there is a difference between what the individual can do and what is required for his optimum functions in his life or maintaining optimum health in his life, that is known as self-care deficit. Okay. So when a nurse is uh, helping him, that is known as self-care with demand. 
so if you are seeing that nursing system so whenever that self care deficit when it is cleared by a nurse it has been the self care requisite it is met by a nurse in the following three systems so what are the three systems wholly compensatory system partially compensatory mechanism and supportive educative system so by this three means only the nurse is maintaining or the nurse is meeting the self care requisites of a patient so what is this wholly compensatory so if you are seeing this flow chart so if you are seeing this see nurse is accomplishing the therapeutic self care of a patient she is compensating with the inability of the patient to engage himself in his self care and also she is supporting and protecting the patient understood so if you are seeing the wholly compensatory what are the services provided by a nurse she is accomplishing the therapeutic self care of a patient she is compensating for the patient's inability in order to engage himself in the self care and also she is supporting and protecting the patient okay here if you are seeing the patient action is limited everything is done by the nurse so this system is known as wholly compensatory system hope you have understood so what is that wholly compensatory from the word itself it is there nurse is giving the support nurse is compensating with all the activities of the patient as a whole w h o l e whole so whole means the nurse is doing each and everything for the patient and the patient's activity is limited that system is known as wholly compensatory system next is partially compensatory system so now if you are seeing this flow chart nurse is doing some activities even the patient is also doing some activities so that the patient self care deficit is met okay so if you are seeing this nurse action so what are the nurse action nurse is performing some self care limitations of the patient she is even compensating for the self care limitations of the patient she is assisting the patient whenever the patient requires and also performing some self care measures for the patient what patient is doing patient is performing his own care then he is regulating the self care agency and also accepting the care and the assistance which is given by the nurse understood so if you are seeing this see the first 1 2 3 4 the four activities it is done by the nurse and 1 2 3 three activities it is done by the patient so here in this partially compens partly compensatory uh, system what the nurse and the patient is doing even the nurse is performing the activities and the patient is also performing some activities so that they can able to meet the self care deficit last is supportive educative system so if you are seeing the supportive educative system the nurse is only supporting the patient in some care and the patient is doing most of the activity so all the self care activities it is accomplished by the patient see the arrow it is accomplished by the patient and the patient is doing some exercises and he is developing a self care agency here what the nurse is doing she is only developing the self care agency she is not completely give, uh, supporting the patient or she is not partially even supporting the patient only the guidelines she is just guiding the patient in what all things he has to do so that the self care deficit can be compensated understood so this is supportive educative system so again i will tell you the nursing system according to dorothy oram's theory the nursing system she is uh, meeting the self care requisite of a patient in three parts in three systems that is wholly compensatory system partially compensatory system and supportive educative system so in the wholly compensatory system nurse is doing majority of the activities and the patient activity is very limited in partially compensatory mechanism nurse and patient is doing the activities equally they are dividing their goals in order to meet the goal they are dividing their interventions or the activities equally nurse is performing her activities and even the patient is performing his activities so that both of them can able to meet the goal very easily and the last one if you are seeing the supportive educative system here the nurse's action is limited and the patient is doing the most of the action like accomplishing the self care task and also developing the self care agency clear so this is regarding the system so let me go back and just have a recap of this so this uh, dorothy or orams uh, nursing theory 
it is clearly telling regarding three theories, three parts. The complete theory is divided into three parts. That is self theory of self-care. So theory of self-care, the basic concept is self-care agency, self-care, self-care requisite and therapeutic self-care demand. Next one, theory of self-care deficit. So what does this describing? It is describing how the people can be helped by the nursing activities. And the last is theory of nursing system. So it is clearly uh, telling that the nursing system is functioning in three mechanisms that is wholly compensatory, partly compensatory and supporting educator system. So moving on to the metaparism of the oral theory. So here also our person, health, environment and nursing is coming. So who is person according to Oram? So according to Oram, a patient, he or she is a recipient of the nursing care. And that person, he will be functioning biologically, symbolically, socially in order to achieve the highest level of health or the development or the learning. And this particular individual, he or she is having the capacity of self-knowledge. They are having knowledge and they are using that knowledge in order and even using the experiences to perform the beneficial actions. Okay. So that is person. So who is person according to Ora? A person who is a recipient of the nursing care, who is functioning in all the levels that is biologically, symbolically and socially, yeah, having some sort of knowledge, having the capacity for the self-knowledge in order to develop his health, in order to develop his complete potential. That is known as person. What is health according to Oram? So Oram states, Oram defines health as a characterized, a state which is characterized by the soundness or wholeness of the bodily structure and function. Illness is its opposite. So what is health? Whenever an individual is having whole body functions or whenever his body is doing the complete structure and functions with complete soundness, with complete health, that is known as health. Okay. So whenever individual body functions are going normally, that is known as health according to Oram. And illness means just opposite of that. And what is this uh, wholeness or soundness means? When the body is completely functioning physically, psychologically, interpersonally and socially. Also, the health includes promotion and maintenance of the health activities. Even it includes the treatment of illness and also the prevention of complications. So in simple, if you are telling, uh, according to Oram, health means it is a function where the body is performing without any, uh, without any problem and it will be functioning in all the dimensions that is physically, psychologically, interpersonally and socially. And also health includes the, all the activities which is there for promoting and maintaining the health of an individual. Also it is having the activities for treating the illness and preventing the complications in the life. Next is environment. So what is environment? All the external physical and psychological environment which is required by a patient or which helps the person in order to develop himself okay and that environment it is consisting of some environmental factors environmental elements environmental conditions everything are there and all these things are there in order to develop or in order to completely develop an individual that is environment according to ORA. and last is nursing so nursing is very clearly defined by ORM. So what is nursing? It is an art where the intellectual quality of a nurse, it is used for the analysis and synthesis of the information which she has got from the client, whereby she is using the nursing systems in order to assist the individual or the multiple persons in a unit or in a society. Understood? So what is Nursing according to Oram, Oram is stating that nursing is an art whereby an individual nurse is having some quality and she is using that quality in order to uh, analyze some information so that she can use that information and also she will be using the nursing system in order to assist the individual 
to promote the health of an individual or to reduce the illness in an individual. This is nursing according to Oram. Okay. Hope you have understood. So the metaparagem person, person means the recipient of nursing by Oram. Okay. So Oram is defining a person as one who is receiving the nursing care. What is health? Health means the wholeness of bodily structure and function. What is environment? It is an external physical or psychological surrounding which is helping an individual to promote his life. And last is nursing. Nursing means that it is a quality. A nurse is using her qualities in order to give the nursing care for an individual. That is nursing. Okay. I hope you have understood the Orem's theory. Thank you.